Hi guys, Logan here with another video. Today, I have something cool to show you. This is a brand new for 2022 Jemmy animated rotten talking jack-o'-lantern sold exclusively at the Home Depot. This is the only uh, rotten pumpkin made from Jemmy that's in kind of like the Rotten Patch series that I pretty much own almost all the pumpkins too besides like the super generic like pan asian ones and the um that one seasonal visions one this is the only animated one in all of them and the only talking one in the whole uh series so this it makes this one very unique from the rest and it's the only one that's not plastic this is a soft pvc the entire thing um you kind of see um you know yeah so it's all a soft pvc it's not latex it's a soft pvc which is absolutely wonderful uh that jimmy did that instead of latex it has an upward moving head kind of like the um morphing pumpkins did the morphing skulls. It's a really weird animation that I kind of like. It's just very interesting. Um, he's got amber LED eyes and two amber LEDs on the sides of the mouth, which again, really interesting, but still kind of cool. And he's got, I'm pretty sure it's totally unique audio and a totally unique voice, which I am very happy with. Uh, he does have a motion sensor in his nose and he's got a really, really good and sensitive sound sensor that you guys could see in the demo. So this guy is going for $40, which really isn't too bad, especially considering the fact that it's a, a pretty large, like, prop, for one. Like, he's very, he's, I can speak. He's very wide, and he's, like, I think either like 11 inches or 12 inches tall. So he's definitely not like short. He is pretty well detailed. He's got like all these cracks and cuts in him and a lot of texturing. He's, I mean, he has a pretty cool looking face. He's got like the kind of classic Jimmy Eye style that they do where one's partially closed and one's kind of arched open. He's got kind of a crooked grin going on here. It looks really neat. I wouldn't say it looks rotten. It's very, like, stylized and creepy looking. Um, it's cool. It's definitely a cooler pumpkin, and I like it quite a bit. They also textured the inside of the eyes. Oh, they didn't really do that in the inside of the mouth. I'm not sure why. But they did do some texturing in the inside of the mouth. Uh, he's got... Four phrases, two of them um, really don't make much sense. One of them's about a graveyard, the other one's about you being part of the living dead. Um, which, I guess it's Jimmy, so of course they're going to add like graveyardy and like undead phrases. I'll go ahead and demonstrate those for you. Yeah, he does have any resets. It kind of looks like he's breathing, which is really creepy. Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> I like I like how he laughs too, like how it moves. Welcome from the depths of the graveyard. Frightening, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's. The graveyard phrase. Oh, you don't look so well. Are you part of the living dead? <laughs> That's the living dead phrase. Please come closer. I don't bite that much. <laughs> the other phrases really aren't all that bad. Um, it's just the two random, like, Undead and cemetery phrases that are like, yeah, it's a little too random for my taste. Um, 
I like the I like the voice on him. I mean, I think it fits him pretty well. It's not that like enjoy yourself, like voice that like I don't know how to describe it, but like that very generic spooky voice that they love doing. Um, that butler voice that he has, which we're reviewing him coming soon, but like that butler voice that they use, um, it doesn't have that, which I'm very happy. So I'll take that. Um, I want to see one that's got the face taken off so you can see the internals. I want to see how he works because it looks, how he moves is really interesting. It looks really weird. And it sounds weird too. I hear all this clicking. I don't know if those are relays that it's hitting or what, but it's just interesting. I want to see how it works. I want to see someone like open one up and show the internals of one. At some point, he's got like a head. He's got a, a total like plastic form around, um, like the pumpkin. That's why they look so good because um, they have like a. A plastic form. One big issue I am seeing with these is they are fairly quiet. There's one phrase where it gets pretty loud, but lot not loud enough. Now it is the kind of a tabletop item, so I don't know if it's really not meant to be used in a haunt setting. I'm using it in a haunt setting. It's going right in my pumpkin patch with all my other pumpkins and my scarecrows and my what other props I have going on there. Um. So, I'm sure you'll see him move, but you, I, you won't hear him. You will not hear him over anything. Uh, and that's not ideal. So, I'm going to have to figure that out. I wish the speakers weren't so quiet this year. They're all very quiet. He's quiet. Leota was quiet. I'm pretty sure the Spirit Bowl was quiet. So... I don't know, I'm not too thrilled about all the quietness this year. But other than that, I am fairly pleased with him. For Jimmy, I mean, hey, it's not terrible. Um, it's cute. It's cute. Uh, I, I, I like the really unnatural and weird movement, too. I just think that kind of adds to him. It makes him a little more unsettling. And I appreciate that. So definitely a plus. If you can make something unsettling and weird, I'll I'll bite. I'll bite for sure. So definitely a plus. So thank you, Jimmy, for uh, enlightening me with that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I do um, recommend this item, by the way. I get questions. Sometimes my comments if I recommend items. I do recommend this. Um, totally. If you like weird pumpkins, arcade pumpkins... Um, I recommend it. I think it's really neat. It's a cool, like, porch item. You know? Yeah, I'd recommend it if you can find one. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.